What's up, good people? Thank you for uh, tuning in to 4722 Dominique. I just wanted to come on here today to give y'all like a quick insert um, of some things that um, God has been kind of teaching me about your conscience versus the Holy Spirit. Sometimes we kind of confuse the two, um, being that we're human and we feel like um, at times just because it's a good thing that it's a God thing but I have learned that just because it's a good thing to do or a good thing to say is not necessarily a God thing um, let me explain it to you um, basically your conscience um, God works through your 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 mind you know and in your heart and sometimes if you're a good person or you know it's just your nature that you're just a kind person you do kind things and not all the time are those things necessarily governed by the Holy Spirit or the Holy Spirit prompting you to go to a person and say certain things or you know do whatever in your own life um, and also I've learned that you can also uh, miss the Holy Spirit listening to your conscience as far as um, it just being like I said before like a, a good thing um, to do and you can find yourself in a situation where sometimes you're mad at God or whatever you feel like he didn't come through and it's not because he didn't speak to you sometimes you're governed by your own self is is not you know God prompting you to do whatever like I said before um for example uh, I missed God yesterday on um, I was kind of upset because I lost, or my husband and I lost some money. Not lost it on the ground or lost it at a store, but we we paid out something that we probably didn't have to because I thought it was my conscience telling me that and not the Holy Spirit, so I missed God. Um, it was a matter of one of our um, appliances in the home needed to be repaired, and I heard God just is good and it wasn't like an audible voice from heaven sometimes we think that God gonna speak to us that way and if he if it doesn't happen quite that way then um it's not him but anyway it sounds just like you and how you will know is you'll have a peace about it if it's God um it'll just ring inside of you you'll know because first of all like I said, it'll be peaceful. You'll you'll just know that it's it's not you. It sounds like you. It's your voice, but it's not you. But anyway, it came. The Lord spoke to me just as good before the gentleman went outside um, to get the whatever he needed to fix the appliance that we had that was broken. And it came over me just as good. You can do that. You can just take what you have in the house and just handle it and just save the money. And I thought about, I didn't trust the instinct. I didn't, I didn't trust the instinct. And I was like, no, I don't have to, um, I might not do it right. Or it might not go this way. And then I'm going to have to call another service call. Another service charge going to be applied. But little did I know the same thing he went out to, in his car to get or his truck to get to fix the plants was what I already had in the house. That I could do the same thing and save us $150. I missed it. So, I wanted to come on here today to talk about the Holy Spirit versus your conscience. First of all, there was a scripture to back up what I just said. The Lord said in his word that he will rebuke the devourer for, for his name's sake, especially if you are a tither. We are tithers. We pay our tithes and offerings faithfully. And that could have saved that particular money. But before I thought of that this morning, I was like, man, God, what happened? You know, we spend out some money that we didn't necessarily have to I'm sitting here and I mean it was like I was just beating myself up about it and it just came over me that I missed it by my own conscience and I know you're probably saying well how do you know then when when is it God how do you know like I said peace will be present um you you will feel a calmness about doing it or saying it whatever it may be whatever situation that you may be dealing with and um the the results will be incredible but it's just I didn't listen I missed that opportunity Bas basically your conscience when you're doing it out of self usually 
the results won't go as smooth or the outcome won't be the way that it could have been if God was ordering you to do that. It just might be, like I said, a good thing to do. But so you could say if it was on you to tell a friend something or your spouse something or a co-worker or whatever the case may be. And out of the kindness of your heart, you felt that it was the right thing to do to say whatever. You didn't pray about it. You didn't seek God about it. It was just a nice gesture or trying to give advice or um, whatever. Just, just, to, just to be encouraging to somebody. And God didn't lead you to do that. And it kind of was a big deal. Maybe kind of not. Whatever. You went and did it. And you thinking, God, why she got mad? Or why he got mad? I mean, that was just nice. It was nice what I said so what was the big deal about it first of all did the Lord speak to you to do that or did you pray about doing that because he'll let you know he'll let you know when it's okay and you can f usually find scripture to back up anything that the Lord is uh, conducting you to do or unctioning you to do through the Holy Spirit so the the results will be smooth everything will go well it'll be receptive whatever you trying to do the person will receive it whatever the case is okay so and these past few weeks or whatever of learning my conscience versus the Holy Spirit you can pretty much tell if it was God there or or just you out of the kindness of your heart by the outcome of the situation like yesterday I felt uneasy I didn't have no peace when that man left because I, I, we lost money that we could have had for whatever um Whatever the case is, I didn't feel right. I felt uneasy. And when I was sitting there, when he went and got whatever he had, and I let him go through with it, I just was in the, my emotions was going. I was in an uproar. I didn't feel good. I just was like, man, I, could, I wish I could stop him. God didn't have, that was me. That I should have listened to the, it was a still, small voice that sounded just like me, but I didn't trust it because I'm like, if I stop him and it go wrong, then it's going to be double the money for him to come back. But it happened so subtly when when the voice spoke to me. It sounded just like me. You can do that. You can do this. You got the same thing in the bathroom. You can do it. And just quick and subtle. And it was real peaceful when it happened and I got calm all of a sudden. And then when I didn't act on that thing that the Lord was speaking to me about doing, that's when I got all haywire and all of this other kind of stuff. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of come on here. I hope this is helping somebody. I hope I'm not talking in circles. But I just wanted to come on here and let you know to really, um, when when it's God, just try it by the Word. Try everything by the Word of God. And you will find it in the Word. If you don't have a peace before you're doing it, if you don't have a boldness before you're doing it, if you're nervous and whatever maybe you need to check to make sure God is leading you to do that and nervousness is just a part of being human as well because sometimes when the Lord speaks to us in our lives about conducting or doing certain things we are a little nervous and that's normal but I'm talking about shaking in your boots and um you just feel frozen by fear then you might need to reevaluate and check some things so I just want to kind of come on here and let you guys um, know what I was thinking what I was dealing with with my conscience and learning the difference between when my conscience is speaking to me and when the Holy Spirit is speaking to me um, and again if the Holy Spirit is speaking to you then the outcome is always good um, and all of that good stuff is it's peaceful uh, it's, someone is, God is going to be glorified and somebody else is going to be edified through what you've seen. It's going to build up the person. It's going to encourage the person. Whatever it may be, goodness is going to be surrounding it. But if that person walks away hurt, confused, um, angry for days or have a, a wall of offense that suddenly comes up, maybe you might should have checked that before you... And we, we miss God sometimes. That's just normal. But I'm just saying just be careful check it check check your motives of why you want to say it all of that just just do all of that go by the word go by the word of God because anything that your conscience is telling you to do sometimes um you can miss it it's not always just because it's a good thing doesn't mean it's a God thing so I just want to kind of, I hope this helps somebody I just want to kind of come on here and let you guys know what I was dealing with um concerning matters of my own conscience and the Holy Spirit and if it's God it's gonna be a breakthrough for somebody even yourself um, 
it's it's a building up type of a thing and usually if it's got the initial thing is first you really ain't gonna want to do it because a lot of things if it's your conscious we quick to run out and want to do stuff sometime in the wrong motive to build our own self up or our own whatever on the inside and we get that thing twisted quick and that's when a bad outcome may come out of the situation but um, when your feelings are involved or it's something to make you feel better about yourself or you feel like you should be heard because things have worked in the past before off good advice but I'm trying to learn how to be governed by God and governed by the Holy Spirit when I um, do certain things or say certain things so I hope this has helped somebody if you got any questions comments or concerns please leave it in the comment box below if you need uh, some scriptures or anything like that um, to back up what I'm saying I'd be glad to provide those for you just leave it in the comment box below um, about your conscience versus your Holy Spirit when is God saying do this and when is it just me wanting to do it because it's just a nice thing to do and it can be tricky I understand that but you never go wrong in the word if you're not sure of anything always go back to the source go back to the word of God to like make sure everything is lining up with the word of God like Creflo Dollar said um, it takes boldness you it takes courage to do the things that God has called you to do and at first you will be nervous I'm not talking about fear that's different if fear is present then you don't need to say anything until you get all of that straight first within your own heart within your own self but nervousness is normal. So just pray about all things. Seek God about all things. And you won't go wrong. But thank you guys for uh, listening and coming to 4722 Dominique. Checking out uh, this video about Holy Spirit versus, versus your own conscience. You guys be blessed. Have a good day. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for taking the time to stumble over this and watch it. I really appreciate you guys. Peace, love, and blessings. Bye. Take care.